The Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. There was a chick who spotted a employment ad on Craigslist mm. um, in the US for a bar and restaurant. Now, this bar and restaurant, their, their ad was a bit of a rant. You can tell they've probably been put through the ringer yeah. by some very unreliable staff. Mm-hmm. And uh, they, uh, in the ad, you'll hear from Abby, who was um, put up on TikTok. You'll hear in the ad um, them telling um, the myriad of excuses that people have given uh, not to rock up to work one day to miss a shift. Okay. And um, here's some of them. Please do not apply if you have no alarm clock, oversleep, have a cell phone battery that dies constantly, preventing you from contacting us, have to give friends rides to work later than we start work, call in sick with an excuse because you party too hard the night before your shift, experience flat tires every week, and suddenly become deathly ill on Coachella and Splash House weekends. Do not apply if you think you'll need nights off because your grandma poisoned you with her ham again, <laughs> or your band has a gig and you need weekends off because your favorite roller derby has made it to the finals. It's ski season. You accidentally got on a plane to Vegas. You haven't surfed in a while. And you have a headache after going to too many garage sales. You woke up in a good mood and didn't want to ruin it. You've been at the casino all night and still have money to play with. You ordered takeout that is late and you have to be home to accept slash pay for it. You've locked your ho- yourself in the house by mistake and there are no windows to crawl out of. Or if you want to work a few weeks before you go on your European, in quotes, vacation. <laughs> What would you accept? Because there's some of those you go, yeah, yeah. okay. So the I'll one I'd that. accept out of that is um, uh, having a headache from going to too many garage sales. Also, I would accept <laughs> being poisoned by your grandma's ham again. I also <laughs> woke up in a really good mood and don't want to ruin it. <laughs> Somebody, I'd, I'd accept uh, jump somebody, on a plane to Vegas. Accidentally. 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 Sure, accidentally. they fell onto the plane. <laughs> I hate that it when was, that happens. Isn't that hilarious? Everybody has worked with or maybe had an employee yes. that has come up with the most rubbish excuse of why they have to miss a shift. But I get that they're being a little bit left. left as, you can't just say, oh... I don't feel well. No, you that's have, boring. Yes. You've got to come You've up with something. Up with it's got to be something in, innovative. But some of them are extra special. If you just say, I'm really hungover, is no, that... No, that's not acceptable yeah, because that's so. because yeah. of your own behaviour. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so if someone keeps like um, saying, oh, say five times someone in their family's died within a row, yeah. like... Can or you, clearly can the you, flat tyre one. question that? You know what I mean? Like, say if they go, oh, my nana died, and then two weeks later, oh, my granddad died, two weeks later, oh, my cousin's died, and then another cousin's died. It's like... Is it grandma's yeah. hand? Should we look at the family's <laughs> diet? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yep. Are you allowed to, as an employee, to ask for to a death situation or come to the funeral? <laughs> I think you should ask to come to the funeral. Yeah, I'd really like to support okay. you at the funeral. So years ago, um, this lovely girl that works um, used to work here. Um, um, that? I mean, she's a lovely girl, so she's that's a lovely true. Girl. She's amazing. Yeah. Um, anyway, someone had thrown a um, uh, brick through her window, um, mm. but it was accidentally. It wasn't meant for her. It wasn't meant for her, so they knew it wasn't meant for her, but she took two days off after that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to laugh too hard because I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> but that was funny. That was funny. <laughs> that was so funny. What about um, what? Uh, another person who worked for us um, told us a story of how they couldn't come in and then we found out on um, various uh, social media platforms that there was other reasons to that. We're backing away. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. Where were you? Hey, John, no, at least I'm after the other John. one. Finish the story. I no. think... <laughs> The lesson in that is that if you are going to give an excuse to not come to work, your social media needs to back that up. Do not then have social no, media that is at odds with what you've claimed. I'm going to need no, Sean to finish this story. <laughs> You're not with me. You're backing away. We're here. We're Natalie next to you. Natalie was bloody in the next studio. She didn't want to have anything to do with that. Sean, 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 go on, finish it. <laughs> All right, okay. we want to know. Yeah, the reason workers, right, so maybe someone you've worked with or maybe someone that worked for you. Or maybe it was you. Maybe yep. you tried this yep. on with the boss. Yep. Yeah, the reason workers have given to miss a shift, mm. all right? We're going to give somebody, <laughs> Sean, $150 to spend at Autobahn Mechanical. Nice. Yeah. Um, are so if you... your car's stuck in reverse like we are. <laughs> <laughs> are you a qualified mechanic looking for a top rates and a sign-on bonus? You can Google Autobahn Mechanical and find out. All right. Those very innovative excuses for not coming to work, we want to hear them. Hello, Jenny. 
Hi, how are you? Oh, Jenny. Jenny. Okay, we want to hear the excuse for not turning up to work that you've heard. Okay, so she rang in and she was devastated. Her pet rat had died. <laughs> Her pet, pet rat. 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 Okay. Yeah. I mean, we do form attachments. No, no, I know, but like a rat. A rat. Okay. But so then yes. yep. when she came back, she applied for bereavement leave. <laughs> what, so she could go to the funeral? <laughs> one, one of you, so. <laughs> Jenny, so how many, funeral. how many days off did she have once the pet died? Was it just the one day of the rat no, and then two, came back? Two days. Two days. Two days, two days and then yeah. came back yeah. and wanted extra leave. Mm. Yeah, she wanted bereavement. Well, she had bereavement because so we're at the funeral right now, right now Sean. We're here. Uh, we're for, gathered here today. For Splinter the Rat <laughs> in front of you all, his loved ones, and Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. No, do not ring your bell for no, that. I, That's I think that not was worthy. way too early. Do I have to unring her? Yes. Yep. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you grant her bereavement leave, Jenny? Uh, no, I didn't. Oh. How long yeah. do you get for bereavement leave, Yeah, how, can we In, use this? <laughs> you can get two days. Okay, okay so wait, plus yeah. two days. So okay. can I just like talk about this? So, so cat, yes. Dog, yes. Right? Budgie. Budgie, I don't know. No, I don't Snake? think so. Yeah. No. Then no to rat, because yeah. a rat goes in a snake. Oh, yeah, that, in the hierarchy of things, yeah. Rabbit? Dead rabbit? You're a chance. Uh, unless it's a house rabbit. Guinea pig? No. No. Chook? No. No. Because you just chuck it in the oven. <laughs> yeah, can, that's a win. If when it dies, you can eat it? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can ring your bell now. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. Um, Dave's in Mindari. Morning, Dave. Good morning, crew. How are you going? Good, Good Dave. Dave. Party. Okay, what's the excuse? Uh, okay, the excuse was pretty standard. It's just I'm sick. I'm not coming into work. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And for radio, we'll call this uh, this lady Mary. Yep. Oh. And Mary, um, Mary ended up going to the Calvary fishing place, and that was the, uh, the the reason she needed the time off. Yes. Anyway. As, as things happen, she's won the lady section of the fishing. <laughs> and they've taken, taken photos of her with this enormous Jewfish. Yes. And they've, and they've put it in the fishing section of the West Australian. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Mary's just pulled an absolute corker. Oh, and a Jewy as well, Dave. If you're taking a sticky, you just can't win the thing, you know? Yeah. Anyway, she's gone back to work, and the uh, headmaster of the school. Yeah has uh, called her into the office and as she's come in she's fired straight on the desk there's the open West Australian with the picture on her and so she's had a bit of explaining to them so what is meant to but it's all good because they yeah. everyone loves Mary and yeah. she uh, she stayed there for a long time the only, the only, you know for all. Yeah, the, that's it. the only way to get past that is yeah. to bring in, bring in heaps yeah. of fillets yeah yeah <laughs> absolutely half a kilo of Jewfish fillets will go a long way amazing thanks Dave Tomo hello <laughs> Good morning, how are you? Hey, hey Tom. Tom. Okay, talk to us. What's the excuse? Oh, well, I had a bit of a, a hangover, so uh, the first thing that came into my head was uh, I rang the boss and said, oh, can't make it in today, my fish tank's leaking. So <laughs> my fish tank's leaking. At least an yes. emergency. <laughs> yeah, so it made it sound like I had to stand there for the whole day and hold the tank to stop it flooding the house. So. <laughs> you might just stand there with your finger on a hole. <laughs> did you, did yeah. you feel, once it came out of your mouth, Tomo, did you feel like, is this enough? Yeah, I wasn't sure if you believe it, but yeah, got paid for the day and it was a happy day. Got paid for the day, no. Okay, so I'm an employee mm. and my employee, I'm an employer and my employer says my fish tank is leaking. Will that fly with me? Like How this- big is the fish tank? Well, to be honest, I don't actually have a fish tank. Oh, no, I know, I know. But if I was to ask a secondary question, yes. how big would the fish tank have been Would if you were asked? Probably a metre squared. A metre no, square. No, no, you need to have one of those restaurant size yeah, things. Right. So if if the leak is left, you'll yeah. like literally be flooding your thing up. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then it's a household emergency. Yeah. And you got the day off for that. Yep. Congratulations. Got right, got there paid. you go. There you go, anyone. If the you want a leaky fish tank excuse. If you want to get out of work today, mm. there you go. A lot of leaky fish tanks yeah, a lot today. Of leaky sure. fish tanks. 150 bucks to spend at Autobahn Mechanical. Um, Dave, you're going to sweep in and grab this one. Mary, who got caught because the paper, picture was in the paper. Oh, uh, yeah. If, you, Rookie if, mistake. if you're taking it off for a fishing competition, do not win. That is, <laughs> my, win. That is my advice to you all. Nathan, Nat, and Sean in podcast form.
this is pretty full on, right? So this chick in Melbourne, she has matched with a man on a dating app who seemed lovely and he ticked all the boxes, so they met in person. Oh, mm-hmm. good. Yeah. The day went well. They spent hours, by the way, hours talking. Um, and then at the end of the date, he, um, uh, he asked if she would like to go back to his house for coffee. You know, Coffee? It's not... A bit late for coffee, isn't it? Coffee. Was that a dirty yeah. <laughs> chai latte? <laughs> it's, it's, it's John, a, a filthy chai. Okay, a I get it. A filthy, dirty chai. Mm. Um, she was tempted, but she decided to say no, and he said that he was 100% fine with that. So then she went home and she thought, you know what, that was one of the best dates I've ever been on my life. Wow. I was talking. Like hours yeah, okay. Hours. Wow, yeah. So That's they've really great. hit it off. They've really hit it off. So she's gone to bed, she's all happy, and, you know, and this is, you know, mm. that feeling you get. It's yeah. been a while, but that feeling you the get flutters. when you think, you this, is, this, is, this could be a thing. Mm. And then the next day she received a text message, which read this. Hey. I think you're lovely and I could definitely see you in my future. Oh. Good start. That's nice. However, to get there, I feel that I need to address something. Oh, okay. While you have a beautiful face, you are physically way bigger than any girl that I would let myself date. (laughs) God. I would even go as far as saying a beast. Oh. What? The only reason you were getting a second chance is because your personality is good enough to make me see past this at first. Oh, that's nice. But my, I don't think he is saying past it. But my dear, I expect immediate action for you to redeem yourself. Wow. <laughs> you will not be seen with me in public again until this is done. Oh. My suggestion is a personal trainer five to six times weekly and a strict diet. Oh, that's nice. Well, that's also, so you need to abandon your old fashioned views on sexuality. The fact you wouldn't let me enjoy you physically last night was disappointing. Mm. And I'd expect more from a woman who is single in her late 20s. I sincerely hope you take these <laughs> suggestions at heart, to heart. If not for my sake, then for the sake of your own well-being. This could be the start of the rest of our lives together. I don't together. think so. <laughs> I don't think it is. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't think it is the start of their life together. Um, first of all, so he's filthy at her because she wouldn't sleep with him but and, and enjoy her physically. Yes. Although he basically said, your body repulses me. Yes, no. That's what he did say, that. Yes, he did. But And, and I, I think he was fine enjoying her privately, but he would not take her out for a public show. Oh, what? Oh, Oh, that's okay then. Yeah, so that's what he's saying. So he's being fair. No, he's not. I think think? we need to put ourselves in his situation more so the opposite. (laughs) And that there's a very obvious reason why he's single. (laughs) Yeah. But I mean, at the end, it's hopeful. This could be the start of the rest of our lives together if you just take my advice. That's horrible. My great advice. A, a what personal what trainer. Oh, what is he doing? Do you know how much it costs to get a personal trainer six days a week? <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be absolutely... I it, mean, she's saving on food because she's not allowed like, to eat anymore. <laughs> when you write a bit of a lengthy text, you know, because yeah, you're yeah. in a roll, and, yeah. and sometimes, you know, you, it goes auto yeah. you always read back a, a, oh, yeah. a lengthy text. So he's, he's re- written this out, and then he's read back and went, yeah. no, yeah, pretty good. No, and might have made some <laughs> corrections. Let's send that. No, no, I am going to write obese. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm yep. going to yep. write obese. No, I've thought about it fairly. What are you doing? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, there's a reason you don't get yeah. laid much, mate. Well, that yeah. was good. Um, <laughs> the person that's um, dated the most in this room is our friend Harry. Harry. Hi, Harry. No, don't go. Hey, morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Harry. Um, I have a little bit. Uh, have you yeah. received a, uh, mess- a text message after a date? Or have you said Or was one? that from you? <laughs> no. Uh, Natalie, please, please. Have you uh, been to Melbourne lately? Uh, no, I'm going soon. Um, I've sent one. I've sent one <laughs> after, <laughs> after a date, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll tell you what, this date I went on it's a few years back. Mm. Wonderful. Mm. Really nice girl. Love mm-hmm. her. And um, the conversation took a bit of a turn into cons- some conspiracy theories. Ah. Right. Yeah, she spent a bit of time on the dark web. So, and, it, uh, and it made for great chats. What was, but, this, what was the stuff? What was, it, what uh, was the poison? The big one. Lizard people. Lizard people. Uh, yeah. well, 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 Harry, the, Harry watch Vino. They're everywhere. Did they you are everywhere. Did you everywhere. the moon landing? Ha- yeah, I actually brought the moon landing up as a bit of a joke at the end. <laughs> but she was serious. Sure enough, well, the moon's not real. <laughs> oh, the moon's not even the real. The moon's not real. No. Does she think it's a mega structure? Mm, I, I, I guess so. I didn't get into That's that. The movie Moonfall. That, that, that the lizard people just put it there. Is that for sure? Nine Eleven inside job. I'm actually a little bit on board with that one though. Nine <laughs> yeah. Eleven inside job. Inside okay. job. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. A pretty exhausting having a conversation with a conspiracy theorist because mm. um, once they're finished with one, and then you're, you're you're like feigning interest, then they go, oh, they're they're, they're liking this, and then they dive into the bucket of yeah. crazy. Um, Can so, I? Yes. Yeah, sorry, Harry, can I ask you, so the the, the note that you sent her, the, the message text. you sent her, what was it, to wind her up? Just to, no, it was kind of after that, that night. Hey, yeah. 
Lovely to meet you. Had a great time. Interesting um, conversations. You know, not really on board with your conspiracy theories, though. So, did yeah. she Maybe. respond? Yeah, fair enough. She said, <laughs> I've, "I've actually seen her since, and we've had open conversations about it." You know, diff- different yeah. views. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. and it's it's fine. Yeah. Your values yeah. didn't align. Yeah, we move fine. on. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, you know what? I'm guessing she's heard it before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I, think so. I, I think love how right. she just keeps throwing it out there. One day she's going to meet the guys. Going, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did she you just send her a picture pot. of you as a lizard person, and she's like, "That's it, I'm out." It's real. It's real. <laughs> All right, everyone. It's a simple question we'd um, like you to answer. The message that you received after a date, or if you were like Harry and you have had to send a message mm-hmm. after a date. Basically summarising the reasons why you're probably not going to see them again or maybe why you are. I'm not sure. Give us a call, 13 24 10. We're going to give somebody, how's this, $300 cash. Cash. Plus, you're going to go into the draw to win the ultimate Crab Fest weekend package. You can head down to the Channel 7 Argamandra Crab Fest this weekend. All the details are at crabfest.com.au. That's a really good prize, actually. Yeah, we're drawing that tomorrow, oh but it is for tomorrow night yeah. as well. So, so yeah. Let me um, uh, read it out. So, two nights accommodation at the Seabull Mandra, right? Yeah. Um, you get two tickets to Soiree by the Bay on Friday night, two tickets to Cocktails Masterclass on Saturday, Hello. and two tickets to the VIP party on Saturday night with views of the fireworks display. That hey, is amazing. You're living it up at Crab awesome. Fest. Hayley's in Quinana. Hello. Hello. How are you going? Hi, Hayley. Hey. Okay, did you send the post-date text or did you receive it? No, I received it mm. and he didn't even wait until the next morning. Mm. So it was pretty swiftly after the date that okay, I okay. got the, the can text. You, can you so, tell us about the date first? Was it lovely? Yes. Was... So Yeah, it was lovely. So I, I met him online, so we'd been chatting for a bit of time before the date as well. He yeah. seemed like nice guy, definitely not a basket case, you know, no red flags. Mm-hmm. And But he was a teacher, which was also like, oh, that's lovely. He obviously loves kids. I've got a daughter. And so I was like, oh, he's ticking all the boxes here. Seems like, a, you know, he's an educated guy, nice yes. bloke. And so we decided to go on the date and he lived in Mount Lawley. Mm. And I lived, at the time I was living in Quinana. So <laughs> he asked me where my daughter went to school. And I said, oh, she goes to, you know, a private school yeah. in Quinana. Yep. Mm. And, you know, the conversations moved on and we were just chatting for the rest of the night. I had a really nice night. And then after we sort of said goodbye at the end of the night, I got a text about 20 minutes later that said that it's people like you that are the problem with our education system. <laughs> you're a cashed up bogan what? and you're the reason that we have problems. So what? your daughter, so your daughter he, should have gone to a state school. Is that his point? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so people sending their kids to a private school are ruining our education system. Oh, my God! <laughs> and therefore that makes you undateable. In his eyes. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah. He and must a cashed have, up bogan. Like. I know. He must have been <laughs> stewing on that for the I entire know. day. Yeah. So During the yeah. date, did yeah. you get an inkling at all that he had a chip on his shoulder about anything or was he just really good? No, he was fine. Which which also made me sort of think, you know, it's a bit of a coward thing to do. Oh, yeah, like, if you've got a problem with something, just, just say it. it at the time. Yeah, but yeah. you're right. Yeah. He would have been... That would yeah. have just got his goat. Like, you just could been... just ask, what's your objection to the public school system and seen what you, seen what you said. Yeah, but not just that. that. What Let's... I would have said yeah. is that the public high school in, in Quinana, people get stabbed. <laughs> it's not just it's like a clear. smaller, like a, a lower level of education. It's actually a stabbed. class they teach. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey, it's an like, elective. You don't have to do you it. Don't have to. There's not a person who would argue, argue with that comment. Um, <laughs> so wait there. So the whole thing, right? So did you take quite a lot of offence at the word bogan too? Oh no, I didn't. Okay, okay. That was right. well, that's right. I, I liked that he told me I was cashed up as well. Yeah, right. Which wasn't true, but I was like, yeah, all right. I'll, I'll <laughs> no, I object it. to that. I am just a bogan. I'm not cashed okay. up. Love it. Thank you, Haley. Unbelievable. Hayley. Adams in Singleton. Hello. Uh, good morning, everyone. How are you? Hey, good, Adam. Adam. Did you send the post date text or did you receive it? Um, I received it, and um, and to be fair, I've received similar ones before, and I guess I got to the point where, <laughs> where I'd had enough of it. It's a lazy one. We had a beautiful day. I went mad. I even booked seats at the petition bar, if you know what I yes. mean. Yes, oh, yes, yeah. we know. I know Super. Yeah, I wore my best, wore my best jacket, everything. And, oh my uh, god! I, I, I know. Stop it. The buttons done up. And uh, I, I thought the day went up. really well. Yes. I thought really it went really well. It was really getting on. Uh, and by the time I got home, uh, I drove home, and uh, I had received a text, and I was a bit excited about to read it. Yes. 
And it says, oh, it was a beautiful day, but I felt that, uh, I feel that we live, live a bit too far apart. Oh, and I, oh. I've had that quite a few times, and okay. I thought, bloody hell, so... <laughs> yes. in, in my <laughs> In my enormous, I wrote back, yes, I agree. Maybe one day in the future, somebody will invent a horseless carriage that will carry me at speed <laughs> across black fields. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's 25 kilometres away. I mean. <laughs> You're not in another country, a freeway. Yeah, like, <laughs> I just thought I'd throw some arch sarcasm that way. <laughs> How many times, Adam, have you got you're too far away? How many times do you reckon? Um, oh, well, out of all the 160 dates I've had, I'd say about, um, oh, about a third of them. Right. Yeah, well, okay. So, I mean, and, uh, yep. you live well, in Singleton, are you, yeah, it sounds like apt, you're destined to apt. live in Singleton forever, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never to escape. <laughs> why, why, why do all the single women of my age group all live north of the river? I don't what know, is that? What is that? What's your age group, Adam? Uh, between 40 and 50. Between 40 and 50. Mm. You are very funny. Yeah, you like, are. You are. <laughs> like, you are. So I, I think there is a lot of women right now that will be going, I yeah. like the sound of this. Do you mind moving? <laughs> yes, please. I'm in the Navy, guys. I, I move all the time. Ooh, so oh, of course. Happy. And he's a sailor, ladies. <laughs> I, have a, I have a uniform on standby <gasps> right now. Oh, no, hey. You know what that means? He knows how to iron. That's what that means. Yeah. Yeah, make his oh, bed. I, actually, I actually do, and I'm really surprised about how many odds you do not iron. Yeah, can I just say right now, this is you. Yeah. This is the best um, uh, Tinder profile yes, that you right. could ever have put that there. If yes. anybody there likes the sound of what Adam's dishing out right yeah. now, contact us, and I'll fight you for him. Um, yeah. <laughs> contact Good us, and Adam, there. we might, um, you know, we might see if we can get you hooked up. Move you to Doubleton. Oh, well, you you can't do any worse than Tinder. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Adam. Adam, we're going to give you three hundred dollars so you're cashed up, ready for the next day. Mm. Okay, you're already ready to pay for someone. Um, plus, you're in yeah. the draw to win the ultimate Crab Fest weekend package. Of course, you need someone to go with. Nat's putting up her head, hand. <laughs> head down to the wow, Channel Seven thanks. Mandra Crab Fest this weekend. All the details are at crabfest.com.au. That's all Adam, yours, Adam. Good job. Go. All right, thanks, guys. No worries. No, thank you. Might have to fight you for him, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Adam has no choice. He goes to the winner. <laughs> <laughs> Even Ellie came in going, no, he's not No, he's not. If anyone <laughs> likes the sound of Adam, yeah. hit us up on social media. We're like, all um, going out with him. Jump us in the DM, <laughs> send us a message or whatever, and we'll see if we can facilitate something. It's going to be an awkward Adam... trouble, but we're on board. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. All rise because the king is in the house. Oh. Rick Arden from the Channel 7 News. Welcome. Good morning, Rick. Welcome, Rick. Rick Thank we've, you. We've known you on television for mm. 400 years. Yeah. We've personally known you for about 20, mm. and we cannot believe we're now discovering something about you that we never knew. You're an expert in something. Tell everyone what it is. Oh, I wouldn't say I'm an expert. I love Seinfeld. Love the sign. It's great. We go to... So very good. Very good work by you. <laughs> so we go to Seinfeld quiz nights around Perth. There are more than one Seinfeld quiz Oh, night. yeah, 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 there are. And uh, we love it. So we've got a team. We've got uh, a couple of guys, Cal and Mitchell and Wally. They grew up. Their father said, if you want to know about life, watch Seinfeld. Yeah, so they can the just show about, about nothing. The show about nothing. So they can just about relate episode word by word. So we're one team. The other team of a very good team, Jugdish, which is Jerry Seinfeld's Chuck alter dish. name. Yes. Uh, his Indian name. Yeah. is um, They're very good too. So we usually win, and or the other team wins. So yeah. now we've started having quiz nights against each other just for us. So tonight we've got one of the Herdsman Tavern in Wembley at 7pm. We're inviting anyone who wants to come along, just roll up. So you can, you take can sit you on our table. You can sit on yes. your table and or can you take you on as a team? Uh, yeah, or you can take us on. Just okay. even if there's one or two people listening, roll up. We'll put you on a table with also one or two people listening who might want to come in and test your knowledge. We actually played a South of the River quiz night at, yes. a, at a pub, and there was a very good husband and wife team. We don't know who you are, but you're <gasps> out there somewhere. Come and join them. So, so you rush straight from, I guess the Channel 7 is just around the corner from the Herds, which is straight handy. Straight from work you, is great. So, yeah, you've pretty much still got your makeup on, and you go straight there because no, you're no, that I'll keen. No, take the makeup off. That sure. keen to get to your Seinfeld quiz night. 
at the hurdy. Yeah, I'd take the makeup off. I mean, if I had the makeup off, I'd, oh, and I'd almost go via connections and see no. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go, I, I, no, shorten the lashes there, Rick. Yeah, right. Uh, so, Rick, this is amazing because last time we were in, we talked about your um, love for karaoke and now it's Seinfeld. <laughs> yeah. so we, we were peel, peeling layers off you later you are on an in onion. your life. <laughs> hey, well, well, you know, the straight looking serious guy on TV isn't mm. always me. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is absolutely great. Me okay, too. we're going to put you to the test yeah, sure. against one of our listeners. Yeah. yeah. So. If you are sitting at home going, yes. I know heaps about Seinfeld, yeah. I know more than Ricardo yeah. about Seinfeld. Yeah. Not like, we don't want people going, oh, I'm going to give it a go. No, you need to know Seinfeld. Yes. All right? Inside out. Yes. And how about this, He's Rick? wearing a Seinfeld shirt, yeah. for goodness sake. I know. It says, no soup for you. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> soup Nazi. Uh, all right. So, Rick, here's the deal, okay? Sure. The winner... Yep. Out of you and yep. whoever we find to challenge you will win $150 what if voucher. Great. You love travelling. You like going around staying Great. places. Mine so. will go straight to charity if it can, but that's all right. Will it? Yeah, why not? Is that charity that's Rick, Rick Arden's no. charity? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not the human fun. George the Stanford one. Yeah. The it's human the fun. Rick Arden yeah. long weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Benevolence fun. Um, all right, 132410. If you, you need to know Seinfeld, don't call up if you're just like, oh, yeah, no, I know their names. No, yeah, you no, need to, you need, you you need, need to know him. It needs you to be part of you. You've got to be better than him. Otherwise, all right. <laughs> we can't just let him win. He easily. might be the black belt of black belts. Well, uh, uh, no. I know. It is time to pitch. Channel 7 newsreader for the last 74 years, Rick Arden, <laughs> against one of our listeners in a Seinfeld off, and that listener is Narissa from Parkwood. Good morning, Narissa. Morning, guys. Morning, Narissa. Narissa, we need to know that you're up for the challenge. You know everything about Seinfeld. I watch it every single night on Netflix. Wow. wow. Okay. I yeah. love it, Narissa. It's fresh yeah. too. It's a great show. And how many times have you gone through the series? Oh, I, I wouldn't even know. Probably about okay. 10. Mm. Right. Okay. This sounds well, like it's going to be a match team. It that's does. right. We've it got does. a bunch of questions. Here's what's going to happen. We'll ask the question. If you think you know the answer, you need to buzz in with your name. Okay. All right. If you get it right, you get the point. Um, Rick, you good with that? Buzz I'm good with that. We'll test your buzzers. Rick? Buzz. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 Narissa, I was just getting a piece of paper. We want to get Narissa's number afterwards if we can. Narissa, stay on the now line you, because we need to Now you're making it Seinfeld. creepy. No. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, we'll test your buzzer again, Rick, because it didn't work the first time. Um, Rick? Rick? There we go. Uh, no, I like bzzz. <laughs> Narissa? <laughs> Narissa. Working Narissa, well. okay. Special bees. All right, are you ready? Mm. Where does Elaine work and what does she do? Rick. Yes, Rick. Rick. Pendant Publishing, or she uh, works with uh, uh, Jay Peterman, and she also worked with Mr Pip. And she <sighs> also, uh, most of the time, she's a publisher. She reads through manuscripts. Didn't ask for a resume. <laughs> <laughs> that is all got accurate. That is oh, Rick has shot out to a one that Neil Lee. Go, Narissa. Here you go. You go. Okay. Question number no. two. What is Jerry's apartment number? Come on, Narissa. Narissa. Oh. Narissa? Yes, Narissa. 5A? Yes. Yes, oh, Narissa. Yeah, Narissa. Order. Okay. It's one all. Okay. Third question. This is a bloody rip. I love it. Where did George Costanza famously, famously pull out a golf ball from? Rick. Narissa. Rick. Rick. A whale's oh. blowhole. Okay, <laughs> what did he say he was for an extra point? A marine, marine biologist. biologist. <laughs> and the golf ball's a titleist. <laughs> What number? <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, guys. Right, one. All right. Right. I think we're going to ask all these questions because mm -hmm. I never want mm -hmm. this to stop. What's the name of the coffee shop where Jerry and his friends... Narissa. Oh, Narissa. 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 Monks. Very yes. Good. Very good. It's to all. All right. Might all have right. to bypass yeah, the Yeah, I'm not asking the next one. Yeah. Uh, okay, here we go. Which main cast member does not appear in the pilot? Rick. Narissa. Oh, Rick. Elaine. Is correct. No. Amazing. Marissa, yeah, you knew that either. too, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she did. Okay, it's, uh, Rick okay. leads 3 2. All right, next question. What does George want to name his future son? Rick. Yes, sir. It's Rick. Seven. <laughs> it's correct. Okay. Marissa, you're doing well because you you're right on the yeah. hammer. All right. Yeah. Here we go. What book's late return earns Jerry a stern talking to Nerissa. it? Nerissa. 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 Oh. Nerissa. 
Tropic of Cancer. It's correct. <laughs> Very good. This is so good. They know, they know their stuff. Okay. Um, which guest star said they're real and they're Rick? spec... Yes, Rick. Yes, uh, oh. Terry Hatcher. Is correct. <laughs> Otherwise known as Sidra. Oh, oh, was in that the, the name in the show? Yes. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Sean. Okay. This is an easy one. This is an easy one, yep. Yep. Who died from licking envelopes? Rick. No, not Rick. <laughs> Susan Ross. Susan. She died on May 16th, 1960, 1996. Oh, my God. That's right. And George is trying to get out of the marriage in Can the Can I first tell you place. something, right? We were thinking some of these might be a little bit too yeah. hard and they're not. All right. According to a conversation between Jerry and Elaine, what's the magic number of dates when a first to... Yes. yes. Very good. Uh, number of dates, three? No. No. The number of no. dates on a face to face breakup is required, Rick? Oh, five. Uh, five, I'd say. Seven. No, seven. No, seven. Oh, there we go. We found go. one thing both of you didn't know. That's amazing. Oh. <laughs> My favourite. What's the name for Jerry's favourite shirt? Rick. Nerissa. Rick. Rick. Golden Boy. Yes. Wait, there. Extra points. He got a new favourite shirt. What was that called? Nerissa. 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 Go, Marissa. Baby Blue is right. Baby, Baby Blue. blue. <laughs> we'll give you a point for that, Nerissa. Well done. <laughs> Let's get to right. Rick Lead 7-4. All right. Next question. How, ma- how, how much money does Kramer make upon originally Rick. selling his... Yes, Rick. Rick. $500. Incorrect. Incorrect. Selling Marissa, his would you like to come stories. in for the point, oh, Marissa? you're right. 1000 No. Incorrect. No, Rick. 750 uh, 750 You're right. Too quick. Mm. Yeah. All right. Of Jerry's many shallow complaints about the women he dates, what petty thing bothers him about his girlfriend, Gillian? Rick? Yes, yes Rick. Rick. She's got man hands. <laughs> <laughs> she does have man hands. Oh, Amy's telling us to wind it up, oh, but, but I just want to ask oh. this one. What Can are the names of George's fictitious horses? Rick? Yes, Rick? Snoopy oh. and Prickly Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Marissa, you knew all these answers, know, didn't you? Marissa. I know you did. We'll have yeah. to call it there because we've got to get to the news with Ellie. But... Marissa, come to the Herdies tonight. Yes. 7 o'clock, we 7 need to yeah. see you. You're a worthy opponent. No, she can be on our table. I know. I mean, we did have that $150 Wadi voucher, Rick. You can choose to keep it, or you could give it to Narissa if you wanted to. Narissa, you can have it if you roll up tonight. Oh, and join thank the you so much. There you go. Yeah, you got to roll up tonight. All right, Narissa. Enjoy your stuff, Anyone Narissa. can go. Um, Anyone? Rick, Rick needs you on his team. <laughs> well, you'd be unbeatable then. Yeah. At the Herds well one done, tonight, Marissa. yeah? Yes, please. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so, Rick, yeah. just with your team quickly, are yeah. you the most knowledgeable? Have you got people? Oh, well, no, we've got people who are great. Yeah, they uh, they share the knowledge. It's great. What's yeah. your team's fun. name? Uh, our team is the Crazy Joe DeBolas, <laughs> named after a crazy, crazy Seinfeld. Joe, yeah. <laughs> and we're up against Team Jugdish. That's yes. Jerry's alter name. Um, but uh, look, there's there's prizes there's tonight for, for everybody. Two. Yeah, 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 for best impressions. Like, these pretzels are making me thirsty mm-hmm. or no soup for you. you know, mm-hmm. It's a lot of fun. It really is. Yep. They'll laugh. If people want to come along tonight, yep. come along. We'll put you on a table. Hey, what's, what's George's alter ego name? George? Yeah. No, he doesn't. Oh, George. Um, he's Art Vandalay. <laughs> <laughs> That is right. Nathan just wanted to test you one more time before we let you go. <laughs> Art Vanderlei. Oh, thank you so much, Rick. Thanks, Rick. Oh, Rick, Rick Thanks, you have Puzzle proven yourself. Man. You've proven yourself. <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.